Hey, you up, Photo Pips, and welcome to part three of my Iceland adventure. And we finally make it to Jokoselon uh, Lagoon. Oh, and it, it was absolutely fantastic. Now, the story behind the boat trip is I actually prepaid for that boat trip here in England, and about a month uh, or so, no, probably two weeks before we were actually was to leave for the Iceland tour, um, we got a phone call saying that the boat tour had been cancelled due to the ice being too dangerous to take a boat out onto the water. So, fair play, got my money back, and I, I think it was... I think it was about £170 I got back for that boat trip. And when we was driving down in the coach, the tour guide said, is anybody booked the boat trip? And I said, well, no, it's, it was cancelled due to the ice being too dangerous that it could sort of float in, into the boat and turn us over. And he says, OK, um, does anybody want to go on the boat trip? So the whole bus basically by two people said, yes, we all want to go on. So he rings up the company prior to his arriving and they say, yep, we can do you a boat and a half. <laughs> Not a boat and a half, but half the people need to go on one boat to fill that. And then the others that are left could just have a boat to themselves. So, yep, we all agreed that it would be brilliant situation and an opportunity to get on that boat and get out amongst that ice because that was one of the major things I really wanted to do. So we get down there and he says to us as soon as we get off the bus run straight to the booth pay they're going to be waiting for us. So we get down there and the plans change we all get one boat for the whole bus load which was which was really brilliant. And so we all managed to get on there and off all at the same time. So nobody was waiting for anybody else. And because of that, that freed up a little bit of time, which then gave us the opportunity to jump back on the bus, go literally the, over the other side of the bridge where Black Diamond Beach is. But when we got to the booth to pay, keeping in mind, I honestly believe it was 170 English pounds that I got back. I'm sure it was. If it wasn't, let's say it was... 127 but I'm sure it were 170 pounds and when we got there to pay it was only 55 Icelandic krona for the trip which I think worked out at something like 37 pound each so what are these tour companies doing now I don't want to say it was 175 or 170 pound but I'm going to be generous and say it was 127 but <laughs> you know because like I could not justify that price it was 30 minute boat tour um, fantastic but the price was 55 Icelandic krona and how can they make you pay that much don't it just show you how much money these companies are making from us yeah so that was the Jokoselon Glacier Lagoon stunning location and a must see for everybody. Did I feel rushed this time? Yeah, <laughs> of course I did. I wanted a few hours there. That's, that's what I really needed there. Uh, There's just no time. But the other thing was, as we headed back, we had a couple of hours journey back and starting to get dark as we drove back. And I asked him, I says, if there's any chance of seeing the Northern Lights, would be able to stop and take some images. And he says, yeah. And as it got darker, I think it was around 8, 9 o'clock at night, he was really, really looking for him. He was um, uh, putting his camera into a long exposure, uh, taking just catching the light in the sky to see if he could get it while we was driving on the bus. And lo and behold, did he order in there. Enjoy the rest of the video and don't forget guys, get out and shoot. You know you want to. Cheers, see you soon. Uh -huh.